In this video, we're going to be looking at the modern BI dashboard and see how advanced interactivity options you get with some BI tools let you really drill down into your data, ask questions on the fly and get answers back in real time, allowing you to really see how your business is performing. Coming up. Hey everyone, Adam here from Vitamin BI, bringing you business intelligence for beginners and beyond. On this channel, we help you do more with your data, looking at things like data analysis and visualization, as well as BI tools and how to choose the right one for you. So if you're new here, think about subscribing. And if you find this video useful, please feel free to like and comment. So let's jump into the video and take a look at our modern BI dashboard. Here's a demo dashboard with some dummy sales data that I built using my BI tool of choice, which is BIME. Let's take a look at some of the interactivity options we have to help us analyze our data. The scenario is that this is the yearly report and I'm gonna try and identify areas where we can improve our general sales performance using interactivity that I'll walk you through. So the first interactivity option we have are these filters, these global filters on the top right hand side. I've got my time filter so I can select to view a specific date or range of dates. And then I've got these other uh, filters here. And by clicking on a filter and applying a particular, in this case, product category, I can see the entire dashboard updates to show that particular product category throughout the year. So let's uh, look at the other ones, office supplies, and finally, furniture. Now, when I do that, what I can see down here on the bottom left is that for this particular product category, we're not doing too well in terms of the, the profit that we're generating apart from the month of February, uh, month of January. So we could try and investigate this a little further. Now, another interactivity option that I have is this uh, button list here, which allows me to replace the attribute or the dimension that's contained within this chart uh, with something else. So the two dimensions we have are year and month, but instead of month, I might want to see week. So that will apply just to this chart and it will break it down and show the year by week instead of month. And straight off, we can identify that uh, in this week here, we have a, uh, a big drop in profit. So we want to investigate this further. To do that, another interactivity option I have is to be able to click on this uh, particular column, this bar, and drill down into it. So I click on it and I select my decompose and I get presented with a list of all of the dimensions in my data set. So let's break this down by product subcategory to see if there is a particular subcategory that's causing all this loss in profit. And so it applies just this chart and I can see that yes, indeed, bookcases out of the four is the one that's causing the uh, big drop in profits. And I can even drill down further into that to find out if it's a particular product that's causing this loss. So I've got my product name attribute, I can select that, click OK, and again, drill down just into this chart to see that indeed we have a loss in profit for this Riverside Palais Royale bookcase. Okay, and another great thing we can do is because this dashboard is fully interactive, I can click anywhere and use the element I'm clicking on as a global filter, much like we have on the top right here, and apply it to the whole dashboard. So I click and I can do filter others, and that will filter that selection just to, well, to the entire dashboard. So I can see that for this particular week and this particular uh, bookcase, we had 28 of them ordered. We can see the, the loss in profit and they were sent by delivery truck to Florida. But is this uh, multiple orders or is this a just a one off where, you know, perhaps we got the order wrong to see that I can uh, change the metrics that are included in my charts. So we have profit and order quantity and I could change order quantity to see how many orders this uh, these 28 articles account for. 
So I select number of orders. That changes wherever there is uh, the, uh, the order quantity, that changes to number of orders uh, throughout the dashboard. And I can see it's just one order. So there's kind of like a rogue order where we lost all this money. What would be great now is to figure out what that order number is. So we can uh, dig a little deeper into it. So I can select and uh, decompose again and find my order ID field and select that. And there we have it. I've now identified uh, the exact order ID where we lost all this profit uh, on that particular order. And another thing that we have is we can choose how we display uh, in some of these charts the data that's presented. So here, you know, I could just turn it into a, a table format or whatever I wanted. And you can see the same applies for the other charts too. So there you have it. That's a really good example of how to use a modern, powerful, interactive BI dashboard to ask questions of your data and get answers back in real time and see where things are performing well, where things aren't performing so well, analyze that and, you know, uh, see where in this case there's room for improvement. And, you know, if I was the person who took this order um, in this dummy scenario, I might be a bit worried uh, right about now that I'm going to be getting an angry email or call from my sales manager to, to ask what went on exactly with this order. So there you have it, a great example of a modern interactive BI dashboard and how you can use it to really understand your data. If you found this video useful, please do like and comment. Don't forget to subscribe and until the next time, stay BI curious.